The Cree have an old story, a story about a special horse that rides between the worlds of both the living and the dead. And as the story goes, the horse will one day pair up with a human being. Together, they'll do something special to change their world. This has been a life-changing experience for me. I'm not the same Paul Nichols that left Quinnell. Last week, we met with Paul and Terry Nichols for the first time after their horseback ride across Canada. We rode the Confederation Trail through Prince Edward Island. And we talked about the impact that the Communities for Veterans Foundation had on the people whose lives they touched. Now it's time to see how the ride changed their lives. We came back different people and we, we talk about it like being a deployment. We did this um, day after day after day, hearing real people that struggled, real people that have seen war and death and have been affected with PTSD and physical injury, mental injuries. Uh, and we, we heard we were a part of something uh, very real. Back home, they're now in the process of compiling these stories compiling them to share the stories of these young veterans so that they don't have to struggle alone. I left the Balkans, I came home from, from uh, the former Yugoslavia, I spent some time at the battle school, and when I transitioned, when I left the military and came back to Quinell, British Columbia, it's, it's, um, that's when my war started. It, I landed in a community that so often thinks of a veteran as an old man, and because we've left, we've, we've made that decision to leave the military, to step away from the family, all we have left is our community and it can be a dark place if you're struggling alone. The ride across Canada was the beginning of a long journey out of the darkness for many veterans. A journey that was based in Paul and Terry's equine assisted mindfulness program. It's a program where horses guide their handlers to focus on the present and to leave behind mental injuries. It, we draw a crowd with horses. People are interested. Even if they don't know what we're doing, they come over and ask, why are there horses in our community? And it's an opening for that conversation. Um, but they also have the, a special power of healing. It's a healing process that Paul personally experienced ever since being partnered up with his horse, Zoe. I spent almost 7,000 kilometers in the saddle, about 7,000 kilometers in the saddle, and 5,000 kilometers on that bay mare out there, Zoe. It, it, uh, well, it changes a person, and I know it changes a horse, and, and when you do it together, it, um, it creates a, something pretty special. <laughs> In these sprawling fields and the other training facilities on this ranch, Paul and Terry have now made the Communities for Veterans Foundation their full-time priority. Using this space, they're hoping to share the special feeling that Paul is talking about with other veterans in need. Troops understand the herd and they understand the herd dynamic and the strong need for, this profound need for strong leadership. You can drive troops and they'll do what you want but it, it won't, you won't get the most out of them. And the same thing happens with your horses. Said, just to feel that relaxation in them. Um, to get the most out of horses, you need to bring forward a calm, peaceful energy. That's the main focus of Terry's training here. You kind of crave it a little bit. Any tension, any um, muscle tension or anxiety in a herd of horses, that's what triggers the instinct that, that is in a horse. And then they also respond instantly when we let that go. After surviving a major accident years ago, learning how to communicate and working with horses saw her through her own PTSD. The couple are now compiling all their research and piloting new projects for the Communities for Veterans Foundation. Projects based in equine assisted mindfulness but with more options like ranger expeditions and community engagement assignments. There's also a book in the works. The farm is becoming a veteran transition center. so. We want to continue our work with helping, uh, helping veterans and communities understand each other and helping veterans in that time of transition where they're, they're needing to fit back into a marriage and a family and a civilian job. So we want to be a part of that and I think that we, we live in an amazing community for that because it will take a team to, to make this happen. For more information on the Communities for Veterans Foundation or ideas on how you could help, check out www.communitiesforveterans.ca. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Anand Chandy.